Ai, que sono. Meu irmão não chegou. É, acho que ele chegou sim, mas eu acho que deixou o café pra mim. Não é isso. Pera. Cadê a massa que caiu? Tá aqui. Vou pegar o um café. Uhum. Hum, que bom. Cafezinho tão bom. Vamos fechar aqui a, a coisa. Vai para o cara que se fez um novo vídeo. Tudo bem, bora pesquisar. The Good, The God Brothers Gaming. Muito bem, para assistir. Bem, encontrei aqui o vídeo. Bora lá assistir. to the Jack and Daxter HD collection let's play it. wow I just stole another Crimson Guard Harrier I don't know why I keep getting these things but we're heading to that elevator symbol right now and that's the battle so, uh one sec guys all right guys I'm back and oh wow I lost this this is so quickly I don't know why this always happens to me why everything happens to me and oh look a vehicle but it's all the way on the other side of the city so we're gonna be journeying taking a journey over there and uh, you guys haven't seen where it is so i'm not gonna cut ahead to get to there but um there's a really cool part up there and it, look over there you can see the palace from here that's a really cool thing in this game you can see a lot of the locations from far distances and it's really cool i don't know why they did this because uh usually in most of the other games they wouldn't put that much effort into doing that but You know, he's always, always going above and beyond with the uh, no loading times in this game at all. And the graphics are still amazing while in other games they still have a lot of... Wow, crap. It waited till I dropped to the floor and then I just jumped off the car and... Oh! Sit! Get wrecked! But anyway, yeah, guys, I've been getting a lot of support lately and from people like the Mark of J. If you guys ever heard of that guy, he's a really big YouTuber and Thunder... Thunder's always been helping me, but I'm just telling you guys, I've been getting a lot of support from bigger YouTubers, and maybe I'll be able to get partnered soon, I'm just really looking forward to it, but anyway, thanks to all of your likes and favorite support and well, nice um, comments that you guys leave me, it's really been inspiring me to go forward and make my videos above and beyond the call of duty, <laughs> anyway, if we look back. You, precursor orb number one is here and there are four precursor orbs that we have to find in this area remember you guys should have 36 my precursor orb count is off by one anyway over here we got the palace now look at this view you have a view of every section of the city and something else i want to show you guys but no. over here is the industrial part over there is a, a place we haven't been to yet i guess but you'll see later on and look over there in the uh, right hand side where is that place guys if you guys play jack three you guys know where that place is And if you look over here, we have the mountain area. A lot of good polish in this game because everything actually goes where it's supposed to be. And yeah. Anyway, that's the Baron's Palace. And this is a huge booby trap of a, a power supply of whatever he's got going on here. And it's really cool looking. Of course, now it happens, constipation voice. Well, at least now it kind of forwarded the time to a better time where you can see this environment very cool. Anyway, over here we got a bunch of generator power boxes. You don't want to touch these because they can uh, um, kind of hurt you. I don't know if you guys don't want to, want to try them, if you guys like getting tased. But anyway, yeah, if you guys know um, about the uh, Air Force and stuff, I learned that you have to take a test to learn, to uh, learn about a taser and like how to use it. And then on top of that, you have to get tased as well to see what kind of pain you're inflicting. I, I believe that's how it's supposed to be. But it looks painful as hell and great. Yeah, uh, over here is Precursor Orb number two, and I love the explosion. Anyway, you guys should have 37 right about now. And uh, guys, I've been seeing a lot of um advertisements for the Marine Corps of the Army, and I'm 17 turning 18, and of course I'm going to be hearing a lot of this from my cousins and my friends that are around this age. And I don't know, imagine there was a draft or something where we all had to head into war, because we're on the verge of World War III if Iraq and stuff makes those nukes and bombs Israel because then the Americans would have to jump in but imagine there's a draft and I get screwed and have to go into the army or something I would try to go to the Marines because if you guys look at the comparison between the army and the Marines the army all I gotta say is it's like 
daycare compared to the Marines. Oh my goodness. I know I could I could probably hold up to some of the training, but you guys have to if you guys want to know some of the statistics. Oh wow, I thought I could jump on that. Um you have to do like three to eight pull-ups and then on top of that, 80 sit-ups and then run three miles within like 24 minutes. That's a lot. I can, I take walks from like my school to my house, which is like 40 bucks. I don't know how I do it every day in like 20 minutes. But if I ran that, that's just exhausting. Oh my goodness. But anyway, up here we got... Guys, you guys, you guys just see that he was talking to the uh, the Baron right there, and uh, oh wait, I think someone's calling me. I gotta, I'll be right back, guys. Um, let me put the controller on. Why can't I pause it? Wow, I put the controller down. And it transformed. Ah. All right, guys. So I cut ahead, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that when I edited it, edited it, but I actually paused it, and now let's head down here. I'm gonna really need this dark jack, but I guess I'll do it without it anyway. Head down here and. So what you want to do is try to shoot the Baron once every few seconds, not too much, because you're wasting your ammo if you do. But once, wait a couple seconds, and shoot again, and that blue mark should appear. That means that you're actually doing damage, while when you, don't, when you shoot every other time, it doesn't do any damage. And then there's an indicator showing you how much ammo this guy has. So every time he runs out of ammo, he comes to this power generator and starts recharging. But over here is another set of ammo crates. Every time you turn your back towards them and uh, move them out of your camera angle, they should resupply. And uh, we're about to finish them off. Now, there are three waves of this enemy. And uh, just like in any other game, um, there's three waves. But each time he gets a new move. So, um, and over here. And over here he gets rocket launchers. So, time this perfectly. And this is, this is why they're only giving you blaster ammo. Because this is the only gun you can pretty much use at this point to fight him. All these. Just keep moving when you see these things coming out, but don't reach your steps. Take him out here. Yeah, oh. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on, yes. And now, whenever he gets here, he's like a sitting duck. I remember, guys, uh, we have three precursor orbs down, and there's one more at the end of the scene. There we go. Try to stay out of his way when he's charging at this gate because he might really get you wrecked. Anyway, if you had Dark Jack, I would recommend going Dark Jack right now and just doing the Dark Bomb right up there. That would have totally taken him out, but we don't have Dark Jack right now, so we're just going to shoot him out with the uh, Blaster. And you have to dodge these uh, Fire Tornadoes, and this is like the hardest round of them all, because usually you come over here and you're injured and he starts charging at you. It's like a combination attack. Hey. And, uh, where is he? Aw, oh, damn it. But anyway, guys, I have a, I need a favor of you guys. I, I know I'm asking this during a boss battle, but if anyone can make 3D intros, Jack and Daxter or the Cow Brothers, that would be really cool, and that's a permanent spot on my channel, definitely, but if you guys could do something like that in Cinema 40, or if you guys know a friend that could do it, please, please help Anyway. The dark powers I gave you can't 
for this episode with the boss battles and then come over here there's a health pack that should be here and remember you guys should have 38 precursor orbs while let's get this last one over here and there we get a trophy nice remember i'm showing every trophy in this game but over here is another precursor orb that should be all four now let's take a look at the chart all right so we just got four precursor orbs all of them here in the palace so let's light those up and uh, look at the chart guys it's getting pretty good um but anyway heading down this elevator and it's a really beast elevator uh i'm think gonna call things quits here because uh we, we pretty much got all done in this episode anyway guys i'll be seeing you guys next time and uh, i just want to show you guys this glitch really quick this is a really funny glitch I used to do this all the time as a child. I know, I used to really get into this game. But when I was a child, I used to mess with the Crimson Guard. And since Jack doesn't have a home, I used to come over here and glitch into this and be like, Yes, I'm a Super Saiyan and this is my house. So, uh, I think I'm going to show you guys. It's right over here. Head up here. Jump this. Jump down. And you see this lamp? Or whatever this is called, like a torch. You can jump into this and keep jumping and you reach the top. And, uh... Now, you can actually look like you're going Super Saiyan, but anyway guys, enough of my, my, uh, little, uh, fun app. This is the Cobblism out. Please leave a rating. Peace. Bem, o vídeo foi legal, né? Vou desligar o computador. E bora dormir um pouco.